It's been 23 years since Matt Scott, a Camden County paramedic professor, lost his left hand in a freak firecracker accident. For years, he used a prosthesis, but 10 years ago, Scott, who's now 47, became the nation's first hand transplant recipient, and he's doing very well. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler spoke with Scott about his historic journey. Look at the monitor. Again, say to everybody, clear. Virtua Health's paramedic science director, Matt Scott, is a living legend on the Camden County College campus in Blackwood. It's been 10 years since Scott became the first amputee in the nation to receive a donor hand. His pioneering procedure was performed by a 17-member medical team at Jewish Hospital in Louisville, Kentucky. At the time, the surgery was considered highly controversial, even unethical, with a high probability that Scott's body would reject the hand within six months and that he would die. But Scott tells me he was never worried. Somebody has to be first. Scott, whose donor hand is the left one, you have to look closely to tell or ask Scott to roll up his sleeve, says he takes anti-rejection medication twice a day and has had no serious setbacks. His donor hand is a dream come true. It enables me to, well, first of all, uh, um, return that complete sense of self that I lost. Scott can hold a book in his donor oh, hand while writing on a chalkboard with the other. When he types, he relies mostly on his right hand, but uses a pencil to pluck away with the left. Scott the says that's because his forearm neck. tendons were and so badly damaged by the firecracker explosion that and surgeons had to side, borrow tendons from his feet. What can't you do with your donor hand? I can't button my shirt with, I can't use buttons. Scott says that's a minor inconvenience. And I can hug my sons with both arms and not the prosthesis getting in the way. Scott's surgery was not just the first hand transplant in this country, it was the world's first successful hand transplant. Worldwide, 32 patients have now received 40 hands. What are your thoughts on why there aren't more hand transplants? It's probably because to ask a donor family to give an internal solid organ is different than asking them to give an external limb. An internal solid organ is not seen and in the post mortem in the, in, in the funeral, in, in, in the viewing. You, you Scott don't says he's hand grateful hand. to his donor every day and hopes more people will consider donating limbs to the thousands of amputees returning to the U.S. for more duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Blackwood.